I bow to all the Sajogis. <coughs> In this beautiful sara surroundings, Many of you are wondering why God has created these beautiful things. Because you people had to come on this earth and enjoy the beauty, that is one of the reasons. And now God feels very much fulfilled with uh, joy and satisfaction. And a kind of a completion of his desire. Why God has created this beautiful universe has been a question asked for thousands of years. <coughs> the reason is very simple to understand. This beauty that is created cannot see itself. In the same way, God who is the source of beauty, beauty cannot see his own beauty. Like a pearl cannot enter into itself to see its beauty. Like the sky cannot understand its own beauty. The stars cannot see their own beauty. The sun cannot behold his, its own brilliance. In the same way, God Almighty cannot behold His own being. He needs a mirror. And that's how he has created this beautiful universe as his mirror. In this mirror, he has created now beautiful things like the sun. Now the sun has to see his own reflection also. So he has created these beautiful trees to see that when he shines, they uh, come up so well and look so green. Then he has created those birds who rise early in the morning to greet the sun. So the sun knows that, yes, I am there, I am existing. Or else he has created these beautiful lakes for these trees to see their reflection and the lakes to feel their existence when the ripples start moving within themselves. So then he created human beings. The human beings cannot also see their own beauty, their own glory. That's why they are in the darkness. They are ignorant. They cannot see what lies within themselves. So they are running after something which is absolutely against themselves which is ugliness, uh, which is self-destructive. And the struggle to get to reality is such a lot that as a result they destroy themselves. Like as people have taken to these drugs, uh, taken to all bad habits of in this place, they say there's a lot of smuggling going on and all such endeavors that people take up because they do not know what beautiful things they are. So now a mirror has to be created for them, to see for themselves how beautiful they are. Their mirror is their spirit. That spirit is to be brought in their consciousness, in their attention. If it comes in their attention, then they can see their image. Now this attention that comes in, 
as an enlightened attention is called in sanskrit language as chidabhas is the is the expression of the attention which is enlightened but it is also said that it is got a nature which is very transitory or we can say which is disappearing every moment to moment when this is happening what is to be done for that you have to study yourself with meditation with hearing uh the enlightened talks by seeing the good things of life without thinking about them by seeing also the goodness of others and then you start seeing goodness in yourself also that is why i always say that one should not feel guilty because you are feeling guilty of something which is just just a illusion you are guilty that you have got a shadow is something like that so if you know that you are beautiful beings and that you have got a shadow is nothing to do with you and your beauty if you can see your own beauty then you will be amazed that within us lies all those joy giving all those beautiful things which we are seeing outside but just now the mirror is not all right that's why you have to see in the nature the beauty but when you are one with yourself then you see all this nature within yourself all the joy giving qualities of this nature within yourself so i wanted you to come to this place just to learn how god has created this beautiful uh area for you people to enjoy and to be here may god bless you